Hi, I'm Dave, founder of Halloween Year-Round, and today we're here to talk about Season 3 of American Horror Story Season 10, Thirst, an episode that asks big questions like, how desperate would a Hollywood agent be to get a hold of some blood-sucking pill for her clients, and how far would a father go to take care of his daughter? That one hits close to home. So, uh, you know... Like I said last week, this is definitely a strong opening. I, I'm really enjoying this season so far. I know it's very Stephen King esque, you know, in in just its 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 atmosphere and its setting. But there's there's a lot going for it. I I love the creature design. It, it's sort of like Nosferatu meets I Am Legend. Well, what like these are the creatures that this is what they should have looked like in I Am Legend. Is what they look like here. Um, also, they um, kind of remind me of 30 Days of Night, for those of you who have seen that. But anyway, uh, right right off the bat, this one, you know, <laughs> what would you do if you found your child feasting on a dead rabbit? So, on the one hand, you know, I, I, I love the conflict in Harry as he's trying to figure out, you know, he, he loves his daughter, he wants to take care of her, and, you know, he wants to ultimately supply her with blood but it feels like she's like way too nonchalant and way too ready to just like start murdering people and drink like she takes to it very quickly <laughs> like as much as much as my daughter lucy who you've seen on this channel before as much as she loves horror and creepy things and, and loves scaring people i don't know that she would go in like one day to the next I think I'm going to murder people. I mean, maybe she would. Maybe she would. That's for me to deal with. That's for me to find people to supply her blood with. I also love the whole, like, the idea, like, oh, well, if I can't have him, you can't have him. And just how how quickly Harry caves. So we met Ursula previously last week, but we kind of really get a sense of her here. And just, I feel like Leslie Grossman always plays a character that is just absolutely despicable and she's really good at it and i'm sure she's a lovely person in real life but i just i love how horrible the, the character she plays is now initially my prediction was i thought that she was going to take the pill but turn into one of the monsters because you know and the agents have no talent that's why they're agents and i thought they were kind of going that route and that still might happen, but the route they are going is really intriguing because, you know, it's... Hollywood would kill for that, and, and I feel like there's a lot of... There's a lot of, like, meta self-awareness here that I think American Horror Story... It tried to do in Season 6 with Roanoke, and I think it kind it went too hard on it in there. It was too on the nose. You know, Ryan Murphy had just done you know, the people versus O.J. Simpson, and he wanted it to be like, you know, like a docudrama. But I feel like the meta self-awareness here at the expense of the film industry is much more subtle. And I think it's much more fitting, you know, with, you know, Harry talking about what it's like to be a TV writer. I'm sure a lot of that is, you know, coming from the personal experience of the writers of this show. I'm sure that, you know, these are things that they felt and I'm sure that they've dealt with Hollywood agents just like Ursula, who, by no coincidence, is named after one of the most popular Disney villains who's known for being a sea witch. As far as the vampire storyline goes, to be fair, this is something that, you know, American Horror Story has explored before with Hotel. You know, even with a group of vampire kids, you know, as member of the, the classroom that they just kill everyone. So... I like how this explores kind of the greater, not just mythology, but like the ramifications of this vampire child that, you know, Austin was just trying to make a cool new friend with Harry. I think Belle regrets uh, ever letting him tell Harry about it because it's just kind of blowing out of proportion now. And uh, it, it'll be very curious to see where it goes. So... Uh, highlights, I really like Macaulay Culkin in this season. I know that last week I said 
Uh, Sarah Paulson is probably my favorite character here. Uh, she wasn't in this one. So in this episode, I I particularly... He, he really stood out because you get that there's a lot of... This is his big return to TV. And while, you know, obviously he fortunately avoided a lot of the, you know, the tragic pitfalls that happen to child actors, his character is, you know... His character's life was in shambles. He's living in a shack. You know, he's he's he struggled with, he struggled with with addiction, and it's just it's really interesting to see how the pill affects people differently, and how for him, just the idea that like someone wants to pay him for something, is so meaningful because it's the first time, probably in a long time, that he's actually being treated like a human being, and it's kind of screwed up that. You know, he had to take this vampire pill to get that, you know, to, to, to get that recognition. And I think that I forgot how good of an actor Macaulay Culkin was. I mean, that this this is a kid who, you know, when he was 10 years old, he was fending off burglars. And now he's stabbing people to death on the beach, which had he used the paint cans like he did against Harry and Marv, that scene would have gone much faster. He could have killed that guy in like a second and just taken all his blood right then and there. So I'm very curious to see where this goes. Uh, you know, I, I definitely feel there's there's an impending sense of doom for really the whole family, for, for Doris and for Alma and for Harry as this is growing too out of hand. I think that, you know, clearly the chemist is not comfortable with this being that big a thing. You know, I think that she liked her setup as it was, just supply to a few people in this town, don't make a big deal about it, and now Ursula's poking her head around, and I think it's going to come at the cost of Harry and his family. So, you know, spoilers, you can't go around murdering police chiefs like, <laughs> you know, like his daughter did. The, the whole point of why it worked is keep a low profile. But that's why you can't... Don't make kids vampires. Just just don't do it. I would think they would have learned that lesson from Edward and Bella. So what did you think of this episode? Uh, let me know in the comments. What do you think is going to happen next week? What do you hope happens next week? You know, how how do you hope this, this half of Double Feature ends? Uh, you can also check out the website, HalloweenYearRound.com. Follow it on social media. I will be back tomorrow uh, with a video about a recent trip I took where I visited some filming locations of a very famous horror movie shot around Washington, D.C. And then check back next Thursday uh, for the review of next week's episode of American Horror Story. Until then, stay scared. And remember, every day is Halloween. Ooh.